Inventory. Now that you've set up your bar, you can do inventory. To begin inventorying, tap on the first bottle on the list and then move the slider to the liquor level in the bottle. To continue to the next bottle in the row, swipe from right to left. If you need to move back, swipe in the opposite direction. Continue doing inventory by moving the slider to the liquor level and then adding any unopened bottles that you may have. To do so, tap the plus sign at the bottom of the screen to account for the unopened bottles. If there are no unopened bottles behind the open bottle, then make sure the number of bottles at the bottom of the screen is zero. If this is your first inventory session, all levels should be at zero, meaning that the slider should be all the way at the bottom of the bottle. For future inventory sessions, the previous levels will be kept. If the liquor level from the previous inventory session is the same, you can just swipe through to the next bottle without having to change anything. This version also allows multiple people to do inventory at once, but to avoid conflicts, make sure there is not more than one person editing bottles in a section at the same time. Completing inventory. Tap back to return to the bottle view. Then, once everyone has finished doing inventory, navigate to the all bars view. Once there, one person should hit Finish Inventory, which is the big green button on the bottom right of the app in the All Bars view. Tapping Finish Inventory will email you your spreadsheet and purchase order, and also create a data point on the online graph in the Partender portal. Remember that only one person should hit this button. When you hit Finish Inventory, your spreadsheet and purchase order will be emailed to you automatically.